Hey guys, Regal Abuse here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means time for my Survivor recap. So to recap on tonight's episode, it starts off with the Tyson vote off from last week. It seems like the tribe is more unified. It seemed like it was um, um a pretty good vote. Like It seems like everyone could be at peace now with it. What was probably the most impactful about this episode is the conversation with Yul. He mentioned with um, a conversation with Sarah about um, his relationship with John Penner, who he played with in Cook Islands. He, um, his wife has a really terrible medical condition, ALS. It's a really awful, debilitating disease. But I think it's so, I think Yule is just such a beautiful person, like has an amazing spirit, just like that he has that friendship with Penner and cares so much and wants to help them out best he can. It just showed the human side and it really shows how powerful the game of Survivor is because you're all competing against each other. But it really says something when you're able to put the put put the game aside and come together and have that human have those real human moments and make those connections that not only will benefit you in the game, not that anyone would play that to advantage, but anyway, um, and have those connections that last outside the game as well. So big episode tonight. It was a tribe swap. So the tribes were quite interesting with the divisions. I had to take notes on the tribe because I tribe divisions because I would have never remembered. So in the red tribe we have Tony, Jeremy, Denise, Sandra, and Kim. The blue tribe we have Michelle, Wendell, Parvati, Nick, and Yule. And not only did they switch tribes, they are now at three tribes. So the green tribe is Rob, Sophie, Adam, Sarah, and Ben. So let's start with the red tribe. The Red Tribe has the dynamic of three original to call. So that would automatically put Jeremy and Denise on the bottom. But what I found when these tribe swaps happen, when people think they're on the bottom, they're not really on the bottom. The, the only way you could go is up. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but um, the the point is to find those cracks and see if you're able to work around that and they see that Kim isn't as close to Tony and Sandra so Kim is basically a swing vote because she could stay to call strong and stay with Tony and Sandra but then she might find better options in Jeremy and Denise so it really all depends on her game um the blue tribe is interesting because Wendell and Michelle used to date so that dynamic alone it will be interesting to see that play out and Nick is with his high school crush Parvati so he must have been um I don't know what the term is fanboying or fan girl fanboying yeah so yeah I really feel like that tribe is really gonna do good and challenges that seems like a really strong tribe and on the green tribe you have Rob Sophie Adam Sarah and Ben. Now that has uh, three original Sully and two to call. So then you would think, oh, they might be on the bottom. Rob seems to be controlling his alliance. I mean, one would think Adam might be on the bottom because he did try to get Rob out, but then Ben tried to get Rob out. It's just all a big thing. They all try to get each other out. I do give them credit, though, for being honest about it. So, Sarah and Sophie are wondering who can they who can they work with. But they all eventually decide to go and find an idol. And lo and behold, Sophie finds another idol. And it's just kind of the same as before, how you have to give one half to someone by sundown. And she decides to give it to Sarah, which I think is very smart to give it to her because they seem to have a really good alliance going. From watching Sarah play for three seasons, she seems like the type that you want to have in your alliance. She definitely knows what she's doing 
and she knows how to make moves and when to make them because she does have the steal a vote advantage so one could say she could use that steal a vote from let's just say Ben for example so then she gets an extra vote so then they automatically will get to choose who they want to go home um it's very interesting to see the shelters compared to how Wendell builds them of course Wendell's a professional at it but him coming in the camp it's just like extreme makeover survivor edition you just have Wendell build all the shelters you'll be fine so on the immunity challenge they had to go through this obstacle course and at the end it was a puzzle but what was interesting about it is they had all these col they had these colors red yellow blue and green but they couldn't be the same color on all sides so the concept sounds easy but it's very difficult so it ended up being um blue and green that won immunity and sending red to oh no 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 red and blue won immunity sending green the tribal council so they wonder when they get back to camp what they should do um rob ben and adam go to the water well and they try to figure out which of them they could vote off they want to vote out sarah because as adam put it he thinks that sophie could be useful in challenges um sarah and sophie don't really get a chance to chat with um the guys because rob implements the buddy system and doesn't want anybody going to talk to anyone else so I mean, they don't get to strategize with anyone, so. I mean, there's definitely a drawback to that because I get the whole wanting to build trust aspect, but then nobody can really talk to anyone or, hell, they can't get to go to the bathroom without them, you know, thinking, oh, where are they going? So Sarah and Sophie definitely think that it, it's time to get Rob out. So... When they get to tribal council, they, you know, talk about the tribe dynamics of when you're on the bottom, how Sarah and Sophie are obviously on the bottom in this um, tribe, numbers-wise. And they talked about how the guys went off on their own and it was just awkward silence at camp. And uh blindside not blindside um rob ended up getting vote off and i like rob i kind of saw this one coming but i was just was like oh my god like they are actually able to pull it off so it'll be very interesting to see rob reunite with amber on the edge of extinction and see um how that relationship goes if they're gonna you know twist things up on edge of extinction because Ad not adam Rob and Amber are a very good pair. It seems like next week they're going to do another Edge of Extinction challenge and Tyson's going to um, cause some chaos. So, yeah. Um, I'm very interested to see how these new tribe dynamics work out. If I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's recap. If you guys want to check out Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Until next time, stay regal.